On behalf of Jacqueline Spernak, I call to her guardians and guides, the Apus and her teachers, the Dons, and ask that they come forward now on her behalf and that of her sacred drum and the healing work that they are doing in the world together and their continued personal journey together. And I ask for your presence, your goodness, kindness, love, and beauty, that it be instilled and infused in and through this drum, through its sound current and its way into this planet, this beloved planet of family and all who reside here and beyond through the veils. May we connect and commune on behalf of Jacqueline Spirnock and her sacred drum. Oh, awaken, beautiful being. Beautiful, beautiful being. Awaken.
Sacred sister of the drum, of the apus, of the elements, of those beyond the veil. I've just returned from a journey on your behalf to awaken this beautiful being. What a, a gentle sweetness and yet rounded, rooted, strong and ancient being this is. The very first thing that happened right off the bat before anything else, before I was able to even go, is the Apu came, the Apu, to blow breath into your drum, upon the face of your drum, to blow its presence. This is your Apu. This being is that is that's who's working with you here and others, but indeed the presence of the Apu is palpable and was first in the door. Just just give me some breath. Let me blow some wind. It's the there's winds there. I I've not been there. Winds. I was hearing these winds on the on the mountain. And it wanted that, that breath, that prana, that life blown in, inspiring into your drum being. So that was the first thing in. And then uh, my guardians and guides, we, <coughs> excuse me, prepared to move and to leave and to go and to journey and to travel. And we went upon those winds. The winds were the... Uh, the, the way to get there and this journey was at the Apu, at the feet of the Apu, the blessed Apu and the spirit of that mountain but also the spirit of that water uh, that lives below it and that is uh, blessed sacred holy water, is it not? Um, and there was a request that you gather that, maybe you already have it, but that that water uh, from the Apu, the being, the elemental of the water wants you to work with that water with the apu there was so much elemental life force present and i see you there with this drum as it is being again blessed and awakened in the presence of the waters there and the apu and the air the winds and your teachers um, there was a request that your teachers blow into the the being in physicality, in real presence, um, and that presence of your teachers was here blowing into the drum. There was so much breath, so much breath happening wrapped around this. And that blessed Apu, that presence to itself, that uh, the energy flow is like, is like, um, the depth and the, the ancient presence of water underground. There was a lot of water presence in, in this. That deep, deep underground currents of energy that have lived on this plane of the earth for eons, forever. Let's just say forever, because at one point, the drum mallet was doing this infinity symbol round and round over and over. It was like this forever energy of the Apu and the waters and the currents that live here, that just are here, live here in this plane of consciousness and on this plane of existence um, as anchor, anchoring. I'm probably telling you stuff you already know, but I'm just... Um, it's an anchoring energy that's infused in this drum in that infinity symbol as the mallet was just going back and forth and back and forth. The central aspect in right in the middle of your drum is that breath. <sighs> that breath from your teachers, that breath, uh, the wind from the Apu, the waters uh, that sit at the feet of the Apu, the energies, the energetics that um, move out through the... Yeah, the, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I painted it in the middle of your drum. That that uh, Chakana, 
that is the sound current frequency resonating in all so many different directions the center being the portal the portal that you go through the portal that uh, this this breath is blown into um, the portal where the sound cor current moves through you as instrument drum as instrument and into your future clients and um, uh, through that sound current you representing this the instrument you are the instrument through which these energies are going to flow in your healing work and the drum the instrument the breath is the frequency the energies the water is the depth of the infinity symbol of the apu as it flows through that portal in the sound current the shikana all different directions um, with your clients with the work that you do and not only human clients but the consciousness the the client as consciousness on this planet that is working to shift and asking us to be the instruments the mallets for these the the consciousness to shift through the shikana of frequency wow i'm saying things i don't even understand so i know that you do um, through the portal in the center of your drum that breath <sighs> that breath into the portal through the other side out everywhere um, the condor is your teachers uh, Don Adolfo that all the dons all the teachers uh, this life and others um, you have been chosen in some way, some form, some fashion in this life to bring through the healing, the teaching, the energetic current through, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> what you've learned. <coughs> to be the instrument, the portal, there's something about you in particular, Jacqueline that has been chosen by the condor, your teachers in the South, uh, to do this work, bringing it to Turtle Island and around the world, but because you hail from here, Turtle Island. Um, there's, I don't know why, but there's something about that that is, uh, has to happen now in time. And somehow you are a chosen piece in that, um, has to happen now part um, and now your drum let me introduce you um, thank you for the honor of that journey of the awakening of your drum and meeting your teachers through that the the vibrance and the energy of your teachers uh, their presence as they were here and the, the presence of the Apu Asungate and the waters there and the winds and I can only only pray that someday I uh, am able to uh, bend down on my knees and kiss that sacred ground and put my forehead into the earth there um, because I I have felt it being there and uh, the frequency and oh my goodness all I could do would be to bow and put my forehead to the earth and say thank you. So I do that from here now um, in this journey and in this, this portal that I sit in right now. And I do that now to your guardians and guides and your teachers, to Apu Asangate and to the elementals of Peru um, and the teachings and that breath of life that is working to come forward and envelop and wrap the heart of the world I bow deeply deeply I bow and thank you for this honor and thank you Jacqueline for this honor this tremendous tremendous honor of bringing this being into into the world <sighs> wow may I introduce you to this beautiful Palo Santo mallet and it and it smells as beautiful as it is and the um, energy and the frequency it's such a light wood it's really incredible and um, um, this is um, 
llama or alpaca, excuse me, alpaca wool that is wrapped around wool inside. And that is what is on the end. And it has been um, blessed with uh, uh, the holy waters, the floral water. I can't remember the name of it. That you use, I'm sure your teachers use. And then uh, here is your beloved drum being. And you've seen the mesa painted, and but what you didn't know is coming is it has a chumpy belt and this was a request from those who work with you through the veil that um, that it be wrapped with the chumpy belt and this is peruvian weavings with the seed beads and it it, it it has its own energetic belt of protection for your work um you can just see it And so um, the colors here, there you go, now you can see. The colors here are the same as the colors here on your drum. And um, the other colors in your chicana are carried into, also they're, they're all in there um, and inside as well. And then uh, your handle has also been wrapped with Peruvian weavings so that it's it's really soft and comfortable to hold for you and you're holding the energy and the frequency of Peru of your teachers of, of the work that you do as you're working and so um, you can see that the the uh, your condor is here there you go. I know you've seen a photo but it's different in video when you actually get to meet it up close and there's in in the Apu there are purples that weave with your um, alpaca that are woven also into here, into your weavings and colors. And um, so it's, it's all uh, pulls together in that way. Oh, wow. So let me close by just giving you my great gratitude and saying thank you and deeply bowing in humility. Um, this has been a tremendous, beautiful journey of touching those of Heart Island and um, uh, you and your work and I'm, I'm just ever so grateful. I will send this video off to you as quickly as I can now because I'm certain you're excited to meet um, your beautiful being and what I'll do is I'll, I'll pack this up and prepare it for shipment and I'll let you know um, the day that this ships with a tracking number so that you can watch its progress across the country and I can't wait to hear back from you about what as you open that case and w what comes because there's always a as the as the top opens there's always that frequency that washes through the one who is the receiver and um, I would love to hear what that is for you um, as that happens so my dear sister wow Wow, it's, this is this is coming to an end, and it's there's a sadness of oh, <laughs> a letting go, but a beautiful joy that that this now is on its way to you and and off around the world, and I can't wait to hear all your stories of healing. And oh, I'm reminded one more thing. Um, I, I don't know a lot about what you do. I did read your website, but you are teaching. I don't know if you are yet, but you are going to be teaching. And um, I am being asked if I would please bring you to the Pacific Northwest um, to do some teaching here. And part of that is my guardians and guides saying, would you please sit in the presence of your sister and allow her teachings to, to flow through and add to whatever it is that we do here. But also to, you know, as you gift give and as you move through the world, please consider stopping in the Pacific Northwest. I have a beautiful venue and uh, people who will support your work. And the drum work is wanting to move out into the world in a bigger way. And I live here. And so it was, would be a lovely place to host you um, if you will consider uh, gracing us with your presence and with your work with the drum and um, and your teachers and this blessed up 
And with that, I will close and say thank you in my heart to you, sweet one. Um, my heart always, always and forever will beat uh, a piece of it will beat uh, in your name and with great gratitude. Thank you so much. Mm.